Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you want to take better portraits in 2020 and beyond, there are some realities that we all have to address. In this video, I'll share some statistics and some strategies to help you reach your goals going into the new year. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Miguel Quiles. I've been a professional portrait photographer for the last eight years, and I've had the opportunity to travel and teach photographers around the world thanks to YouTube University. One thing I could tell you is that 2019 has been a tough year for many photographers. Many of my friends who have been trying to achieve success have struggled with some even deciding to get out of the business altogether. As a matter of fact, the US Department of Labor through the Bureau of Labor Statistics, they say that employment of photographers is projected to decline by 6% from 2018 to 2028. And as they say, it's due to the decreasing cost of digital cameras and the increasing number of amateur photographers and hobbyists that will reduce the need for professional photographers. So that sounds pretty grim, but check this out. The same report states that demand for portrait photographers will remain as people continue to want new portraits. In addition, corporations will continue to require the services of commercial photographers to develop compelling advertisements to sell products. While the industry overall might be on the decline, portrait photographers have a unique opportunity to find success going into the new year. We have to step up our game as portrait photographers, so we can capitalize on all of the opportunities out there. With that, I'm going to share with you three tips, strategies, and suggestions that will help you take better portraits that you can use to pursue your portrait photography career and interests. The first tip is that you'll want to sharpen your soft skills. For those who haven't heard of this idea of a soft skill, the idea is defined as the personal attributes that enable someone to interact effectively and harmoniously with other people. An example of some soft skills relating to portrait photography are creativity, adaptability, effective communication skills, and problem solving, just to name a few. I think the reason why portrait photography is relatively safe from things like automation and the workforce is that taking a good portrait requires that personal component. You have to talk to people and guide them into poses that make them look their best. This is going to demand of you to get better at communicating with people and doing it in a way that makes people feel confident and comfortable so that you could take better portraits of them. Here's the thing, each and every one of us has different soft skills that we need to develop and improve. This could make for a video all by itself, so I'll just say that there are some excellent books that I've read and reread over the last few years that really helped me to not only identify what skills I needed to build and improve, but gave me actionable tips on how to do it. I'm going to link those books which are available as audiobooks uh, for those who are too busy to sit down and read. I'll link them in the description of this video so you can check them out. Before we continue, I wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, Skillshare. They have over 25,000 classes covering everything you need to know to dominate as a creative. Since we're talking about taking better portraits, you'll be excited to see that they have almost 500 classes on that topic with actionable techniques that you can use to improve your portrait photography. For less than $10 a month, you'll have access to their entire library of content. You could barely get a good camera strap for 10 bucks, but you can get a wealth of knowledge that you can use to crush the game in 2020. If you're like me and you like to try things out before spending your hard earned money, I worked out a deal for you where you can get your first two months for free. Just use the link in the description of this video and join more than 7 million creators who are learning new things every single day with Skillshare. Tip number two to take better portraits in 2020 and beyond is to let go of old trends and habits. Seriously though, why is it that in 2019, we still see portrait photographers out there taking photos on or near railroad tracks? How about those selective color portraits where one thing is in color and everything else is in black and white? I'm not sure when that became a thing, but the first time I saw that was in the movie Pleasantville. 
And that was all the way back in 1998, 30 years ago. And here we are doing the same technique today. We have to let go of the cheap tricks and find new ways to be more creative heading into 2020. Here's an idea. Instead of using selective color, study up on color harmony. If you want to see how this works, head over to color.adobe.com. There you'll see the color wheel with some options to see a variety of color harmony rules. Let's say you have a portrait shoot and you get that age old question of what should I wear or bring with me? Well, you can have them send you images of their wardrobe and put together color harmonies using this tool to help you come up with a cool look. You can even extract colors from an image using this tool so that you can color coordinate everything for your next portrait photo shoot. If you know where you're going to shoot, maybe you'll even want to take a few photos of the location and find a color harmony that goes with that location. Then they can wear clothing with those colors to really bring everything together. This leads me to tip number three to take better portraits in 2020, and that is to really hone in and learn how to utilize programs like Lightroom, Capture One, and Photoshop to create a signature look to your portraits. Taking a good portrait in camera is one thing, but if you're shooting your portraits in a raw format, you have to do a little work to make that image all it can be. The good news is that there are a lot of great resources out there to help you learn how to use these programs. Here on YouTube, you can check out Aaron Nace over at Flurn. He's got a ton of helpful videos on his channel and he's a wizard at post-production. You could also check out Unmesh over at Piximperfect who also has a wealth of knowledge and it's all free that can take your portrait work to insane levels. This is the first in a series of videos that I'm working on where we'll dig deeper into what it'll take to get better portraits, but I'm kind of curious, what are some of the things that you're personally struggling with? Things that you think are holding you back from uh, taking better portraits. I wanna address those things in one of these upcoming videos. Also, do me a favor and make sure you subscribe to my channel as I have new videos coming out every week with the goal of helping you improve your photography. Check out these videos here on the screen that maybe you missed and that will help you do exactly that. And I'll see you in the next video.